Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon moveset video guide analysis how to whatever you want to call it. This time we're going to be talking about Toxapex, the poison and water type Pokemon. Now, before we actually get into this, I just want to say if you guys want to check out my previous uh, moveset videos, there's a playlist. The link is down below in the description. I encourage you to check it out. I'm covering every single Sun and Moon Pokemon and we have about... Uh, 14, 15, 16 left out of the fully evolved and then you know we move on to like little cup mons and not fully evolved mons. Uh, also feel free to follow me on Twitch and Twitter those links are down below. Now Toxpex is an incredible Pokemon uh, having an amazing base 152 defense and base 142 special defense. Um, Outside of that, really low HP stat, base 50, I guess to balance out the ridiculously high defenses. Uh, base 63 attack, base 53 special attack, and base 35 speed, which actually works out for a mod like Toxapex, the uh, base 35 speed, because you're a really slow Pokemon, so most of the time you are getting your recover off at the end of the turn. So at the end of the turn, you are recovering the most that you could have that turn. Basically, you'll take a hit, recover it off, and you'll be at the highest amount of HP that you could be, off, uh, be at at the end of a turn. Um, Toxapex has three pretty solid abilities. Merciless is a new ability, which means that uh, when you are when your opponent is poisoned, you'll always uh, get critical hits on it, which is pretty cool. But typically, you don't use Toxapex as an offensive option. I'll mention that later in the other options. Limber, you can't be paralyzed. But the best agility, uh, agility, <laughs> the best ability, excuse me. Uh, that Toxapex does have and that works so well for defensive mon is Regenerator. Regenerator recovers one-third of your max HP when you switch out. So when you come back in, you have one-third of your max HP um, on top of whatever HP stat you were. So this Pokemon gets free HP whenever it switches out, which is amazing for a tank like Toxapex. Now Toxapex being water and poison is only weak to three different types, ground, electric, and psychic. Um, and has a ridiculous amount of immunities, or excuse me, resistances. It doesn't have any immunities. It has a ridiculous amount of resistances. Fighting, poison, bug, steel, fire, water, ice, fairy. So Toxapex is an incredible wall. The first set we're going to be talking about is the physically defensive set. This set allows you to take on um, Dragon Ninja, Dragon Knight because you have Haze. Uh, SD Scizor easily because of Scald plus Haze. Um, just physical attackers. Um, in general. Now, the set is Scald, Recovered, Haze, and the last move is usually Toxic Spikes or Toxic. This is probably the most effective set Toxapex can run in the OU tier. Scald gives you um, some sort of offensive presence and the 30% chance to burn your opponent. So setup mods have to think twice about setting up. They also have to think twice about setting up because you have Haze. Ironically, this Pokemon gets Haze from, I believe, Greninja. Uh, that's one of the Pokemon that I can breed it from. And uh, it beats Greninja one of ones. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the watch out for, of course, extra sensory. Greninja, uh, Protean anyway. Uh, recover is amazing on a defensive Pokemon like this. They gave it reliable recovery, which I think is why they gave it uh, really, really low HP. I think if this thing had any higher HP, it'd be even base 60 HP. The difference in taking hits is huge. And I'll show you a few calcs in a bit. But the EV spread is just bold, max HP, max uh, defense for Spadef, and then. Um, basically bold so that way your scald is stronger recover and like i said haze allows you to beat a bunch of setup mods physical setup mods scald gives you that offensive presence it allows you to actually threaten pokemon even though burn was nerfed this generation only doing six percent uh it's still the attack drop is key for that and toxic spikes or toxic are the last move toxic spikes if they better support your team toxic is good for pelipper mantine uh pokemon in the air like dragonite just wearing them down uh, giving toxapex uh, a way of dealing with threats but it really is up to what your team needs and then you can run black sludge or leftovers i typically like black sludge black sludge is actually my favorite item um which is why I have a bias towards it, but it's just leftovers for poison types. I don't know why people say, oh yeah, if your opponent tricks though, if they trick you back, you know, you'll you'll lose HP from Black Sludge. That's something, I've been playing this game since it came out, and I think that's happened once to me in my life. And I've gotten it back because I switched back to the Pokemon that they took the Black Sludge back. And that's the only time that I've ever been tricked Black Sludge. That is not an example that happens. Trick is not common enough to say that Black Sludge is a bad item because your opponent can trick it onto something else. No, it's fine. It's fine. Black Sludge is fine. I like it. 
Uh, you can run leftovers though, it's the same thing. But physically defensive talk specs, just to show you how well, excuse me, sorry, some team options. But just to show you how well it tanks attacks, this is uh, Scarf Lanners. Scarf Lanners does 61 to 73% with Earthquake. Uh, whereas your Scald is doing roughly 40%, yeah, 39 to 47%. Um, and that was actually uncalced. I just based that on offensive heat ran, how much your Scald did, a little bit less. But uh, after Lanners is burnt, it's Earthquake is doing 30 to 39%. Now, the max damage that Lanners can do with an Earthquake at the end of a turn is uh, roughly 66%. Uh, it says 73%, yes, but you recover your Black Slush, so you'll be at about 66%. Uh, and the max damage they can do in the second Earthquake is 36%. So, uh, yeah, those together, 102. Uh, so, some, uh, so, most of the time, you're actually living an Earthquake, and if you Scald Burn it, plus another Earthquake after Black Sludge recovery. Uh, from this Pokemon. So that's just show how bull or how bulky physically defensive Toxapex is. Next up we have the special defensive set. Now it is the exact same move set. Like I said, Toxapex does not have a lot going for it in terms of moves, but this is its best. This is its most reliable move set that it can run. And um, the idea of this set is to you Better take on Pokemon such as Specs Ash Greninja. If your team is weaker to Specs Ash Greninja, which you, you know every, every team is, in a sense, unless you're running like a Chansey because that thing is a monster. Uh, even Magirna, uh, Solvus Magirna, which checks it, doesn't check it too well after like a Spike because Spike plus Specs Hydro Point knocks out Magirna or two kills Magirna, excuse me. But this is if your team is weaker to Rain like Kingdra or um, Specs Greninja. I'll show you the calc right now. Specs Greninja's Dark Pulse does 44 to 52%. That is a guaranteed 3 at KO after Leftover's Recovery. And prior to it actually becoming Ash Greninja, because this set stops it from becoming Ash Greninja unless it flinches you to death. Um, because in order to obviously become Ash Greninja, you need to get a kill with it. It does 30 to 39 percent that is a 24 percent chance of three at ko so most of the time it is four at KOing you and obviously you have toxic to wear it down you have a toxic spike you have recover so this set is better meant to take on um ash greninja so if your team is weaker to ash greninja or if your team is weaker to kingdra in general uh, i should have had the kingdra calc open so i apologize about that but uh this is life orb draco meteor does 49 to uh 58 percent to you so it does not to it ko because it becomes minus two after that i think life orb kingdra is way better than specs kingdra at the moment especially when there's fairies and there's everything running around i think life orb kingdra is a lot better just being able to switch up moves because i would love if i can hydro pump something like tapu fini and then if they want to double or something i could draco something else or i'll just be able to switch up moves and i don't want like being locked in in this generation i think life orb kingdra is a lot better but if you're weaker to that Spadef Toxpex is the way to go. Now, there is another set for Toxpex, and this is the Uber set. This set, I believe, functions really well in Ubers. This allows it to take on Xerneas. Um, again, the move set this time is replacing Scald for Sludge Bomb. Now, the reason for that is Xerneas is obviously a fairy type, so you want to be able to damage that. Also, because there are giant threats in the Ubers tier, such as Primal Groudon, which don't care about Scald. Regardless of being four times weak to water, uh, it has the uh, ability which means your Scald doesn't work on it. Water type attacks can't work on it. So uh, the idea of this Pokemon in Ubers is to check Geomancy Xerneas with a calm natured, uh, 252 HP, 212 Spadef, 44 defense, and that makes plus two Moonblast a three hit KO. This is plus two Moonblast from, uh, from Xerneas. It does 43 to 50%. That is a guaranteed three hit KO after Black Sludge recovery and you have the option to haze it so if it goes for geomancy activates his power herb that's the only time it, oh i could do that again i guess if he wants to but you can haze that sludge bomb is a near um depending on rolls it can be a three at ko on uh depending on rolls it can be a three at ko on um xerneas uh again it really does depend oh it's a guaranteed four here excuse me I, I, I've always done it with rocks up or a T spike up, so that's why I guess it's been a 3 KO for me. But um, obviously, you can invest in this, but I don't think you need to. And this is, then again, this is 184 HP Xerneas. So this is a really bulky Xerneas. If it's a, a Scarf Xerneas, you are 3 KOing it with rocks up. Um, I haven't faced really much 
Loki. Uh, but the idea of this set is wear down your opponent's team with toxic specs. Toxic specs are huge in Ubers, and toxic specs being water and poison, not being able to be poisoned, which is something that a lot of support Arceus run. Support Arceus, Arceus water, you can Arceus dragon. Um, just support Arceus in general. They don't really run Will O Wisp nowadays. They run Recover, either Judgment or Ice Beam. Judgment more so because Sogaleo runs around, but Ice Beam is also there. Defog, and then the last move is Toxic to be able to wear down Pokemon like Primal Groudon since you obviously can't burn. It's the biggest threat, so centralizing in the tier. So Toxic Spike allows you to wear those down, allows you to beat those 1v1. Haze helps you out versus Xerneas, as you guys saw. That was plus two Moonblast, and Sludge Bomb gives you that, um... Offensive presence to actually be able to beat Xerneas 1v1 with Haze. Even if it gets a Moonblast special attack drop, you obviously have Haze to bring it back. So, um, these are basically what it can do in Ubers. You can run a little bit more Spadef if you want to take it even better. Plus 2 Thunder, watch out for that. That does KO. But sometimes they don't run Thunder, though it does hit Ho and Kyogre. Sometimes they run Focus Blast because it hits Groudon harder. It really just depends. But on these Xerneas. So, Scout for it definitely. Um, but at the same time, if you have Toxic Specs in and they go for Geomancy, just click Haze. You don't lose anything from it. You actually don't lose anything from clicking Haze versus Azernius. If it goes for Geomancy, go right for Haze. Stats are gone. Um, but this is the Spadef set. Now, next up, we have other options. Baneful Bunker. I would not run this on any of my Toxic Specs, mainly because I feel like it's a bad move. Toxic Specs doesn't have... Uh, a lot to stop your opponent outside of Haze or Scald, but go for it. That can actually stop set up. Whereas Baneful Bunker, yeah, if your opponent touches you, uh, the, you can get um, you can get the, the poison on them. But outside of that, it's really just set up fodder for them. I, I've, I've seen so many talk. The second I see a Toxic go for Bane, uh, Baneful Bunker, I already know they're going to spam it later. So I set up with like my SD Pincer and then knock them out after that, after a bit of prior damage. I would not run Baneful Bunker on it, but if you're running like a Merciless set, then Baneful Bunker is definitely an option because after they get poison, Merciless allows you to crit them. Uh, with that, you can pair Venishock. Venishock becomes 130 base power. On top of that, it has a crit chance. Uh, Ice Beam is an option if you want to be able to 2 a kill Lanners, 2 a kill Garchomp, 2 a kill Salamence, 2 a kill Dragonite. Notice how every single Pokemon I named is four times weak to Ice Beam, but none of them are O-Code by it. So... Uh, it does give you the option to a KO that. Rain Dance is actually a really cool option with Damp Rock because Rain has shifted from the last generation to this generation. Last generation was all about uh, running Kingdra, Ukolo, Kabutops, Feral Thorn, Politoed, and then maybe one Mega to break through everything that you couldn't, like Mega Heracross or Tornadus. Uh, this generation, I feel like Rain is a bit bulkier, and Toxapex is definitely a very solid Rain setter. Has recovery, checks opposing Rain. Um, outside of Tapu Koko, you just pair with stuff for that and um and it also just is sturdy it doesn't go down now it does have a few teammates that we have if you're playing the ubers tier zygarde um complete is a ridiculously amazing teammate being able to take on groudon uh physically defensive zygarde takes on groudon has dragon tail and thousand arrows so dragon tail can spread around the toxic um and thousand arrows allows you to pretty much hit everything primal groudon is an amazing um mod with it as well because toxic spike uh wear down support arceus which allow a uh, dual dance primal groudon to uh pretty much sweep or have the potential to sweep it also just wears down opposing um everything pretty much opposing primal groudon so you don't have to risk any speed tie uh, opposing zygarde xerneas so that's a little bit of weight off of groudon's back because groudon is one of the pokemon that has so many roles in ubers and it's tough to complete them all. You gotta check Xerneas and you just gotta be in the offensive presence of everything. So, Latios and OU is an amazing, amazing. What the hell is this? I'm not even logged in. How was I? Okay. Lati okay, sorry. Latios and OU is an amazing answer um, or amazing um, Pokemon to pair with Toxapex because it resists or is immune to ground, it resists electric. Uh, it resists Psychic, so it takes on everything that Toxpix doesn't want to take on. Uh, gets rid of Pokemon. Uh, if it's Scarf, can get rid of Pokemon, such as Tapu Koko after a bit of prior damage. Um, Defogs for Toxapex, so if Spikes are up and whatnot. And also app appreciates the Toxic Spike support from Toxapex, as that wears down Pokemon such as Tapu Lele, such as Tapu Fini, who may be able to defog it away. Uh, Tapu Fini can default away in her case. But wearing it down is great for Psychic damage or for Psyshock damage from Latios. Likewise, Ash Greninja also appreciates Toxapex. 
um, being able to wear down the aforementioned Tapu Fini, an, an awesome answer to um, an awesome answer to um, to Ash Greninja, as well as the fact that Toxapex does resist Fairy between Greninja and Toxapex. A top of Lele, if it's Choice Scarf, has to decide. Okay, do I go for Moonblast? Do I go for Psychic here, or he locks itself in a Thunderbolt? And if it locks itself in a Thunderbolt, Toxapex needs to hit anyway. You can just recover off the Scout it. Uh, also, I do want to mention that. Uh, the Toxapex set, that's Spadef, does have a 25% chance, or uh, excuse me, a 75% chance to live Scarf Top of Lele Psychic, 88 to 104%. So that was, uh, that just reminded me right there, I forgot I had that one shown. Now, defensive wise, Ferrothorn plus Landers are amazing with Toxapex. Ferrothorn takes on Electric, Ferrothorn takes on Psychic, Landers takes on Ground, and then Toxapex takes on everything that they are weak to <laughs> fire, water, ice, fighting. So, Defensively, Feral Thorn Landers and Toxpex make an amazing core. Um, watch out for Magnezone, obviously. But Feral Thorn also takes on Tapu Koko, something that Toxpex doesn't like. Landers provides rocks. They all both provide rocks, and Feral Thorn can provide spikes and knockoff support for Toxic Spikes. So, um, wow, it happened twice. Get out of here. What the hell? Anyway, um, Toxpex, one of those mines, can fit really any role physically defensive special defensive just depending on what your team needs and it's a great mon um and really is a staple on a lot of bulkier teams but in any case guys hope you all learned something hope you all enjoyed feel free of course to leave a like subscribe do your thing you can follow me on twitch and twitter those links are down below and i'll see you guys next time goodbye friends